I, I've never lied to you before, so I'm not going to start now. I don't think I get this one. I, let me explain. All right, hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Uh, this, uh, this lovely gentleman with bedroom eyes, <laughs> it's Leo Maracchioli. This is Frog Loop Studios. This is his every Friday cover metal of another song. He decided to go pop. Now, everyone knows that this is Bury a Friend by Billie Eilish. And just like so many people, when I was young, didn't understand Rush, I don't understand Billie Eilish. Now, before anyone freaks out, gets mad at me, I'm not saying she's not good. No, I'm, what I'm saying is exactly the opposite. I think she's a little bit too creative for me. Does that make sense? Um, just like so many people didn't get Rush, so many people didn't get so many other genres of music, her style is extremely creative. I do love her story. I love how she's overcome her struggles and she still deals with things. One of the, my favorite First We Feast Hot Ones episodes is with Billie Eilish. She tears into that like a boss. Uh, she's right up there with Paul Rudd and, of course, um, Shia LaBeouf. Those three are probably my three favorite episodes ever of Hot Ones from First We Feast. Check them out on YouTube. Um, but Billie's story is very unique. And the young people of the generations that my children are a part of love everything about her. They love her, her mental health issue struggle, her, her, the way her career and creativity occurred, um, and so many of the boundaries that they break. Now, there are a few things that, you know, have some of us parents worried that we don't want everyone to feel like you have to, uh, that, Mental health, um, mental health issues are some kind of glamorous thing. They're not. They're a struggle. I'm a parent of uh, a child with uh, mental health issues myself, and it, it's not easy. Um, it's a daily struggle, and I'm there for my kid. So for those people that uh, see Billie Eilish and they see the struggles she has, and then they also see her creative side, it's there, and it's a good message. However, her message and artistic uh, platform is more pop. Pop's not my jam. I'm more of a folk music, rock, metal, a little bit of bluegrass, a little bit of funk. So some of the beats that Billy Eilish throw down, I, I get. Um, sometimes when we're driving on a road trip and the kids are controlling the radio, her stuff comes on, kids are popping in the back seat, and I'm just like staying on the road. <laughs> So this is a metal cover of Bury a Friend by Billie Eilish. I think it's got like 400 and something million views on YouTube. It qualifies. Leo's going to do a good job. So I'm going to move myself and this frog out of the way. I'm going to move this frog up here. I'm going to move myself in my big Louisiana shirt. <laughs> Sorry. Down here, out of the way. We're going to let Leo do what Leo does. Ready? Here we go. Frog Leap Studios. Frog Leap Studios. So good. Leo. What do you want from me? Why don't you run from me? What are you wondering? What do you know? Why aren't you scared? Exactly the pain is the amount cleaning you out. Am I satisfactory? Today I'm thinking about the things that are like deadly. The way I'm thinking you down, like I wanna drown, like I wanna end me. Step on the glass, staple your tongue. Bury a friend. 
Okay, that that was that was that was creepy. Then and then the and then the smile. Yeah, that that did that catch you too? That 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 bugged the the bajiju out of me too. Um, interestingly enough, to go from a very minimalistic pop tune, because Billy Eilish uses very minimal music, and then because then it, it it coordinates with her whisper, whisper pop. I don't. Know, I guess is what you refer to. Mumble rap, whisper pop. Does that make any sense? That's, that's when I categorize Billie Eilish's stuff. It's super creative. It's super artistic. It has a, every lyric is super impactful, but it is very quiet. It's like whisper pop. So if you're going to meddle a whisper pop song, you're kind of meeting it in the middle. So you have whisper pop, which is super soft. It's, it's super soft and, and very personal. And then you have metal over here which screams at large, huge numbers of people. So to, to, to put them together, it kind of sounds like All American Rejects and a Weezer song. With the chord progression. Dun, 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 right? So it doesn't sound really metal. It just sounds kind of a uh, radio rock feel to it. Now, it's just the beginning. And we know that Leo likes to, when he does his, re when he does his covers, he starts off where he pays homage to the artist's original creation as much as possible while making it big. And then he may go total metal with this later and then comes full circle. But then, of course, with a face like that, do you really trust it? No, but that's why we keep showing up every Friday because of that face. <laughs> it's such a creepy dude. Bury a friend, try to wake up. Still very rock arrangement, but the guitars there, the cording and phrasing was more metal. So it, we're, we're progressing. It's good. You expected me to make you my art and make you a star and get you connected. I'll meet you in the park. I'll be coming collected. But we knew right from the start that you fall apart because I'm too expensive. Plus that could be something that shouldn't be said out loud. Yeah, we're about to get into the outro um, like we always do. Before we do, um, there were no Leo breakdowns in this one. There were no guitar solos in this one. This one was pretty unique. Um, something that I've noticed as I've gone through this last year and a half of Leo Maracchioli covers, uh, I just want to mention three things. 
Number one, um, he has developed as a vocalist. I remember some of his first stuff that I first interacted to. He was bringing in a lot of other people to do collaborations when it was a song that had really important vocals. But even now, he's doing songs that have really powerful vocal performances, and he's doing them himself. He's really worked on his vocals, and it shows. Um, number two, um, creativity-wise, um, he continues to push the envelope. And some of his stuff um, has a tendency to be comedic, like in this one, he's being a goofball, a little twisted way. But his video last week of the Nirvana cover was heartfelt and impactful and intimate. So Leo's progressing in ways outside of just being, let's see how crazy metal we can make a song that's not metal, or let's dance around with trolls and a bunny and me in a Power Rangers leotard with a banana in it. We've progressed. And number three, some of my favorite artists that I have found on YouTube were because of that crazy Norwegian guy. Think about how much Violet Orlandi's music has meant to both myself, my channel, and my daughter as she looks at Violet and listens to Violet's music and stuff as, as an inspiration to sing more and overcome her mental health issues. This all kind of turns into one big circle. Um, so it's a good cover. Um, although I'm not the biggest fan of Billie Eilish's music, I'm a huge fan of her as an artist. It's true. So let's go. Let's get into this. Uh, I'm not a pop guy, but you got to respect that she went from nothing, created her first huge. He, she literally created her hybrid theory album, right? Because everyone refers to the hybrid theory album because it's Linkin Park's debut album that literally dominated the world for three years. Um, but her hybrid theory level album, her debut was what um, recorded in her brother's room at her house with simple equipment and production value to result. Can't really, you can't even shake a stick at that. That's some Dave Grohl Foo, Foo Fighters shit right there. We're just gonna do it at the house. All right, let's watch the outro. Go ahead, Leo. Sorry to cut off your smile with your own logo. It's a bad marketing placement. My bad. Let's go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. Do it all the time. Just follow the link in the video description. Feelings. Some fan videos, it's always good. That's what it's all about. Time to say goodbye. Now you can decide. If you want to buy my songs, then I'll say thanks. See you later. That's really cool. Okay, listen. If you're not subscribed, you need to be. Check out all of his stuff. Uh, his album, his cover album, I think his cal album covers number 38, his 38th album. It's ridiculous. And they're also on tour in Europe right now. They have a video they just put out on their channel about their largest headlining show ever. I think it's in Budapest. Had a great time. Excellent tour bus. And it showed all the dates for Europe, which are awesome. But I remember Leo asked a few weeks ago, hey, which cities in the U.S. should we hit? And I screamed Houston and New Orleans because those are within my range because if they come here, I'm required to go. All right. Uh, that was uh, Frog Leap Studios. That's a cover of Billie Eilish. And uh, it's a great one. Uh, later today, we have more, including uh, I think today is uh, the, th the 3rd of June. There's a new album out today. You want to know what that is? Check my next reaction. It's going to be a doozy. We'll talk to you guys later. My name is Old School Nerd. This was Leo doing Leo stuff. And it was damn good. See you later.